This is the first how-to on how to construct a push-down automaton for a given language. The language we're looking at here is the language of some special palind palindromes that have a C in the middle. So the, the set of words that are the same read from left to right and from right to left, with the exception that there must be a C in the middle. Okay, let's have a look at the formal definition of the language. The language is defined uh, as follows. We have the set of all words such that the first part is a W, which is a word uh, built from A's and B's, an arbitrary number of A's and B's, can also be zero, can be the empty word. Then we have the C, and afterwards the word from the beginning is reversed, so it's the same word. So the property that we have is that the subword W is reversed after the C, and the C does not occur in the um, initial word W. So in the, there's only one C in the word, uh, in, in the whole wor word, and in W there's no C. And now we have a look at what happens if we actually take a word and push it on the stack. What, what happens to this word? So what we'll do is we'll take some word that's in the language. So let's say we have A, B, B, B. Then we have a C and then the word, the initial word is reversed. So it's B, 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 A. And now we take the first part, this part here, read it from left to right and we push it on a stack. So we need a stack. And there's something below maybe. And then we take letter by letter and push it on the stack. The first letter that is pushed is the A and then the B and then another B and then the third B. So what we realize here is that the first letter from, uh, from the input is the bottommost letter on the stack, whereas the last letter is the topmost. So what we have here is actually that the letter, uh, that the word, that the uh, word W is reversed on the stack. And that's actually quite practical. And now we turn this idea into a PDA. When building a PDA, the first thing to do is we take an initial state. Now we have here one, it's called Q0. Then we have to consider what we would like to do. We would like to, uh, to push the input on the stack. Initially, the stack is more or less empty, apart from this uh, Z0 bottom marker. So if we read an A and the stack is empty apart from the bottom marker, we put the A on the stack. And similarly, if we read a B, we put the B on the stack. So the idea was to push the first half word, more or less half word, on the stack. So that's what we start to do here. We simply put it on the stack. However, there are much more combinations because uh, there might be, after the first push operation, there won't be uh, the Z0 on top, but an A or an B. And for each combination, we have to define what to do. For example, if we read a B and the topmost symbol is a B, then we simply add a B. If we read an A and the topmost symbol is a B, we add an A, but we have to put the B uh, back because every letter that occurs here is actually popped from the stack. So we have to put it back here. And remember the stack growth to the left. At some point, we will see the C in the, in the word. And once we see the C, we don't change the stack, but we simply change state. And that's what we do here by adding a new state Q1 and taking the transition once we see a C. And we don't care about the stack content. Uh, there are three possibilities for the uh, stack top and we don't change it. We simply take it and put it back. Now, after the C, we have to match the input and the stack. Remember that the uh, stack contains the, the first half of the word in reverse order. So now we simply do a match. So if we read an A and the topmost symbol is an A, then we pop it. And similarly for the B, if the first, uh, if the next letter is a B and the topmost letter is a B, then it's simply popped from the stack. And this of course only works if it's really the reverse of the, uh, of the initial uh, part of the word. Once we have matched 
all the uh, all the words uh, all the letters on the stack uh, then the stack is empty apart from the bottom marker so once we see the bottom marker again we know that all the uh, all the uh, letters from the first part are consumed and we simply switch to the accepting state so if the second half would be longer this except in this accepting state there, uh, there are now outgoing transitions so can't do anything so if the the word would be longer than the uh, in the first part then it simply cannot uh, um, consume the whole uh, input so it would not accept uh, remember that the PDA has to accept the whole uh, has to uh, consume the whole input to accept a word however if the word is complete then we know completely uh, consumed then we know that the second half actually was the reverse of the first half Let's consider an example. For example, we consider uh, one word from the input. I will simply write down the configurations, the um, instantaneous descriptions. So initially we are in state Q0. The word we will be looking at is A, B, C, B, A. And we have Z0 on the stack. Then first step would be we stay in Q0 and we consume the A, so the rest is the B, C, B, A, and have put it on the stack, so we have an A and, and Z0 on the stack. And then continue, we are still in Q0, we push the B, so C, B, A is all what remains, and we have B, A, Z0 on the stack. And we continue. Now we have the C that we read, so we take a transition, we take this transition here and change state. So now we are in state Q1 and we have consumed the C, so BA is all what's left. We have BA on the stack and followed by Z0. In Q1 we do the matching. We match the B from the input uh, and the, the stack top, so stay in Q1 match the B, so A remains, here we have an A remaining, then we match the A, now we have matched everything, we are still in Q1, and we take the last uh, step and move to Q2. And Q2 is an uh, accepting state, so we accept the word. And what this PDA does, the first part is some kind of push. So, so here we push something on the stack and the second part is a matching part. And that's something that's quite common for, for PDAs to be constructed like this. Can be the actual string, can be kind of numbers. You've seen a similar idea for NAs followed by NBs. So it's, it's always the same. And in the end you accept if the stack is empty. So if you have seen, uh, yeah, if you have matched all the uh, all, all the all the stack content apart from the Z0, then you accept.